If you need to put your phone up on the screen to tell your story, you must watch this video. I use this technique for many different scenarios. There are tons of ways to do precisely the same thing. I will describe the method I use. For this tutorial, you will need software to mirror your phone on the monitor screen, software to capture your monitor screen, and any video editing software. First, I use a power mirror to mirror the content of my phone on the computer monitor. It works with iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. I use it with my iPhone and my Windows machine. Download it to your computer, install it, and create an account. Next, download the A-Power Mirror app from the App Store or Play Store on your phone and log in with your A-Power Mirror account. Make sure that your PC and phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Once you're done with that, open A-Power Mirror on your PC and connect to it with your phone. On Android, open the A-Power Mirror app and click Mirror. On iPhone, bring up the Control Center and click on the Screen Mirroring icon. Next, click on your computer's name. Now you can use your phone as you usually would and watch all its content be mirrored on your computer screen. Unless you have a VIP account, you will see this watermark in your video, but you can easily remove it in your video editing software. But if you're like me and support companies that make good software, a lifetime free license is only 60 bucks. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by anybody. I've paid for all the services I'm showing you. Now that we know how to put your phone on your computer monitor, we need a screen recorder tool to capture all the action. In this video, I'll show you the process with OBS. Once you have downloaded the software, we will need to set up OBS to record your monitor. In the Scenes tab, create a new scene and give it a name. In the Sources tab, select Display Capture and pick the correct monitor. Next, click on Settings and then on Video. The base canvas resolution should match your monitor resolution. I will record the screen on a 4K monitor, so I'll stick with 4K. For the output, I suggest that you stick with your monitor's base resolution. Leave the downscale filter as is and select the frame rate as needed. The frame rate should match the one you use in your editing software. Before you hit Start Recording, change your desktop background to any solid color. Typically, this is green. Make sure to select a color that is not on your phone's screen to avoid removing content that matches the color of your chosen background. Once you're all set, click Start Recording and Stop Recording to end the screen capture session. Open the File tab and select Show Recordings. Import the clip into your video editing software. I use Premiere Pro. First, we want to remove the unwanted parts of the video, like the taskbar and these extra bits. I use the Crop effect. In Premiere Pro, visit the Effects tab and type Crop in the search area. Drag this effect onto your clip and select it in the Effect Controls panel. Play with the left, top, right and bottom values to remove all the unwanted parts in your video. Use the Premiere Pro Zoom feature for extra precision and refine the cropped area by tweaking the decimal values. Next, select the Ultra Key effect in the Effects tab and drop it on your clip. Go back to the Effect Controls panel and select the Ultra Key Color Picker. Click in any area with the color you want to remove and you're done. Now you should be able to put your phone over any background in your video. If you want to see this effect in a short film, check out my movie 20 years alone. Hey, if you like this video, it would mean a lot if you could give it a thumbs up. And hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. I publish content like this every Tuesday, so if you got something out of this video, please subscribe to this channel and turn notifications on so that you won't miss any future videos. That's well over two minutes, but I hope it was worth your time. And I'll see you next week.